In the years that I directed the public health program at NICE in England, we were interested in systems because we were interested in mechanisms. We were interested in the complex way in which the public health system fits together um, in order to bring about prevention. The human mind um, works in the other direction to the way we work. The human mind forever seeks simple solutions to complex problems, or what Daniel Kahneman, the Nobel Prize winning economist, called uh, fast thinking. Fast thinking is the greatest source of error um, to the human mind. What you need is what Kahneman calls slow thinking. And slow thinking is about grasping and having the courage to grasp the complexity of a problem and all that that entails. And that is complex interdynamics, um, complex interactions, um, and having the, yes, it's the courage uh, to think about the big picture. That doesn't mean that you think only about the totality, because if you do that, that, that is also a form of fast thinking. What you have to do is get inside the problem, and that's what we try to do in our preventive activities um, when we're developing guidelines to prevent disease at NICE. Now I work at Cambridge. Um, the work I do on health inequalities uh, tries to embrace the same set of ideas, grasping the totality of the problem of the patterning of health inequalities and early mortality, um, embracing not just the so-called wider determinants, but the biology and the history, um, as well as the sociology of that problem, and putting them together in a complex, um, complex set of ideas about the ways in which health inequalities plays out. Well, in, in my work, I'm interested in helping people address complex problems, and uh, I'd like to make the distinction between complex complicated and simple problems, and they're not the same things. Uh, we tend to be more comfortable with simple or complicated problems, but complex problems have a lot of interdependencies, nonlinearities, random behavior, and so um, understanding that that's different from how we normally address problems, and then seeking solutions or helping people understand there are solutions that are appropriate for complex problems is uh, part of the work that I do. So a lot of my work at the moment is working with local communities um, across Australia and we're working three to, with three to four communities across the country. Um, and working with communities is an opportunity to work at the front line um, where real action happens um, and where people that we're trying to affect that change actually live their lives. So it's a great opportunity um, to work with the people whose day-to-day -day practice is improving the health of their communities. Um, and the way in which we're bringing that systems approach um, into that work is to gain initially a better understanding of the nature of that community um, and how prevention efforts exist, um, the range of organisations, people, beliefs, programs, networks that exist and always exist within communities and how to um, understand those, gain new and additional insights to identify different ways to potentially intervene to support the health of, of the local communities.